Uh, my name is Ian Kamahal. I'm a ceramics instructor here at Cochise College. I've been raccooning for, I would say, 10 years off and on. So we're doing some raccoon testing right now. Uh, we're gonna test, do a test on all the raccoon glazes we have, which are seven. And I'm just doing a real basic glaze where I'm gonna fill the inside and I'm gonna go down to about this far down and that's gonna tell me how much this glaze runs in the firing. Um, and it's only gonna be a one dip, probably hold it for one second and I'll bring it back out. And it's really important to mix your glazes really well before you use any type of glaze. A lot of times you can go ahead and leave them set, but these raccoon glazes tend to settle really fast. So it's just a good idea to mix them every time you use them. So these are gonna get loaded into the kiln. We're gonna fire it to about 1800 degrees. And these will then go into a trash can uh, into a reduction. This trash can is gonna be filled with paper and different combustibles. So it'll reduce and hopefully we'll get some really nice uh, glaze effects out of that. So from here, we'll take this and we'll load it. So after this, we'll just turn this, we'll take this down. Now that's shut. So that, is, that in itself is, is gonna heat up the kiln for a little while and I'll wait about 15 minutes and I'll start turning it up and it's gonna go every 15 minutes I'll start raising the temperature in this kiln at about 45 minutes it should have color at the time when we have color I just turn it on uh, completely on full and we wait anywhere between 15 minutes to a half hour depending on how fast the wear inside starts to flux other than that uh, once that happens we'll shut it off we'll open it up and we transfer the wear from the kiln into the can. So I like to set up cans right near the kiln so I don't have to go very far. Uh, I have with me Gio and Patty who are gonna be my helpers. Uh, one's gonna help me take out pieces into the cans and the other one's gonna be in charge of the lids. I like personally to just leave them in the can and introduce oxygen by burping the can and that and I do that several times that way I keep some of the heat at the same time and at the same time and, and also the oxidation is coming in. I'd like to introduce Camille Shannon. Uh, she's one of the students here at Coaches College and this is her raku. So these are the first things I've made so far. And I also believe that the word raku means delight. And I think that's really fitting because it's quite a delightful process. Uh, I feel we are very fortunate to have the program we have here. Uh, we are by far in my opinion, one of the best departments, even though it's a community college, we are by far one of the best departments out there. Uh, I would like to be bold and say in the country, um, but I'm not too sure about that. But I know that in Arizona and New Mexico, we are by far one of the best departments.